In a car with a dual braking system, the master cylinder produces two independent streams of pressurized fluid. In essence, you have two brake systems in your car. A problem can occur if one system fails. Since the car still stops, some people won't notice there's a problem. The job of the pressure failure switch is to let the driver know something is wrong. Now, when you step on your brake pedal, what happens is the fluid, which is for the brakes at one end of the car, enters into this vertical tube, comes out, and goes to that end of the car. The fluid for the other end of the car enters this vertical tube, comes out, and goes to that end of the car. Between these two vertical tubes is a horizontal tube, and living inside the horizontal tube is this little hourglass-shaped shuttle. The principle is straightforward. When you step on the brakes and you have pressure at both ends, the shuttle gets pushed on both ends, and it sits right where it is, right in the middle. However, if we lose pressure or fluid in one end of the system or the other, the end that still has pressure will push the shuttle sideways. When it does that, this little hourglass shape right here will push on this pin in the bottom of the switch, and the switch will tell the light on the dashboard to come on. That's how the switch works. Sometimes people wrongly buy a new electric switch for their brake failure switch assembly. They believe they need a new switch because they find that in the switch that they've got, they have brake fluid leaking out from around the threads, sometimes coming right out of the top of the switch. To draw that conclusion would be a mistake. Remember in our assembly that we have a pressurized column of fluid running through this vertical tube and another one running through here, and we have a horizontal tube between the two of them. This shuttle lives in the horizontal tube, and the shuttle has a rubber seal at either end of it. Fluid should never be in the horizontal tube. If a seal leaks, it'll come into the horizontal tube, climb out, and come out on the poor switch will be blamed for the problem, but it's not the issue. It's these two seals. So if you have fluid coming off from around here, what you need to do is get a rebuild kit, replace the seals, and the problem will be taken care of.